on. And right now we're taking a look at the Palm Trio 700P, which is the CDMA version. Now this is running the Palm OS and is available for Verizon Wireless, Altel Wireless, and Sprint. Now this is no longer available as it was released in 2006, long before the iPhone. Now one of the things that might show that is the fact that it has an antenna that's external. This actually improves reception and I don't see why they don't still do it on phones today. Now did I mention this has like more features than the iPhone did like a year ago? And it came out before the iPhone was even announced. That's pretty impressive. It has things like copy and paste and it even allows you to install third party apps. Now let's get started with a hardware tour. First we'll look at the front. You've got a touch screen which Unfortunately, you do have to use with a stylus, but that's not too big of an inconvenience because it's still not hard to use with your fingers. Also on the front, you've got your talk and end keys, a five-way navigation toggle, as well as a phone button, a calendar button, a mail slash text messaging button, and a home button, which brings you to a menu of apps. By clicking it multiple times, you can sort them out by their categories, such as all multimedia system, you get the point. Now you also have a pretty good keyboard up here that has nice big keys that are easy to use. Now coming around to the top, we have a full sized SD card slot as well as your antenna, IR port, and ringer on and off switch, which is very convenient if you're in a situation where you need to be quiet but your phone starts ringing when it's in your pocket. On the back, we can get to your stylus here for the touch screen your 1.3 megapixel camera, speaker grill, and battery cover. On the side you see very simple up and down volume buttons for when you're in a call and an option button that you can use to set to whatever you want. On the other side you see pretty much nothing. On the bottom you see a 2.5 millimeter headset jack which is about the only thing that sets this apart from an iPhone in terms of features. You cannot plug in a regular headset to this. There is also your charger port and Palm data sync port, as well as a microphone. Now getting into the OS here, one of the quirks you could say is the fact that the phone doesn't turn all the way off. Now here it says goodbye. It looks like it might be turning all the way off, right? But once it turns off, it functions as a PDA, basically pretending there is no phone. And did I mention there's a network status light on the front that tells you when your phone's functioning? So when it's not on, it will not flash. That way you know, and you don't forget. Now, this isn't as easy to pick up and use as an iPhone. It's got some other features. Well, if you want to call them features, they could also be kind of a setback that would lead people to choosing an iPhone. Like if you want to go to your options menu, there's not like a way to get to it. What you've got to do is press this button that you can see down here in the corner. You can also tap in the top right corner to bring up your options. Now, the only problem with this is you don't get a great web browser. You get the standard Palm OS Blazor web browser, which is okay. It's not the best. You can't like pinch to zoom or anything. And you have to pay $30 a month for a data plan just to have this phone. And they're pretty much just charging you because it said smart on the box that this phone came in. And that I find pretty ridiculous. Other than that, this is a pretty good web browser. Especially in times for the iPhone. You also get mail, which I'm not going to click on because my emails are in there. You get messaging and your calendar app. All of them you can get to by one touch of a button. Now you can also assign multiple things to a button. You would hold down this um, black square button here as well as the button you want to press and you would see my text messages so I'm going to jump to another app. Now you have your phone dialer here. You can also set a wallpaper. Did I mention this button on the side? Now most people might think it's a camera button which I have it set to be. You also have video recording but it's not that great it's not that great of a resolution and I wouldn't go shooting YouTube videos with this. Now you also have a calculator with many different buttons you can press. 
One thing you have here is documents. It allows you to edit PowerPoint presentations, Word documents, Excel documents, whatever. You can also read PDF files. You also have your standard contacts, email, and some other apps that you can install. HotSync is how you connect to your computer, and you can do it over Bluetooth or USB. You have your messaging, your phone, pictures and video viewer, P-Tunes, which comes included with this. That's really convenient. Pocket Tunes, great. And pretty much just your settings. The rest of them are third-party apps like SF Cave, Game, and lots of other stuff. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty like basic, but it does have a lot of features. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. And you don't really get that much out of it like you would on an iPhone. And they're pretty much just charging you because it says smart on the box that came in. As well as documents, which allows you to do PDFs. I'm sorry, the one thing it does not allow you to do is PDFs. But it lets you do doc Word doc. It doesn't allow you to do. One thing you have. Jeez.